Hi guys, uh, today we'll be solving another question from the MV Hinship uh, in ship stability. So if you are watching this video, make sure that you also watch all the previous videos, the links of which are given in the description section below. And uh, to solve the question in this video, you will need access to the MV Hinship tables. If you don't have access to it, then uh, I'll be showing you how to access the tables. Uh, how to get the values from the tables in this video as well. All right, so let's get started. Uh, the topic for today is how to achieve a desired draft at one end of the vessel. So in today's question, we will be trying to achieve a desired draft at the aft part of the vessel. Uh, let's get started with the question. So the question says that uh, motor vessel hinge ship uh, is in condition number three uh, and it has sustained some damage aft to effect the repairs it is required to reduce the aft draft to 4.5 meters by loading 518 tons in the forward part of the vessel so if you load anything in the forward part of the vessel the aft part of the vessel will then come up as the forward part of the vessel goes down as a result the aft trim will then reduce and that is the whole objective of uh, this question is to reduce the aft draft you have to find out how far above the forward perpendicular this weight should be loaded all right so you have to find out how far from the forward perpendicular should you load this cargo so that the forward part of the vessel goes down and the aft part of the vessel comes up thus reducing the after trim so if you can imagine this to be a vessel right so if you load any cargo in the forward part so this is the water line so when you load cargo in the forward part of the vessel somewhere here let's say the weight will make the forward part of the vessel go down and as a result the aft part of the vessel will come up thus reducing the trim so that's the whole point of the question all right so let's get started uh, you have to first find what is the displacement in condition number three so to do that you need access to the mv henship tables if you don't have access to it i'll show you the values anyway in this video so we go into the condition number three so you can see here on top uh, it's written it's mentioned as condition number three right and here the displacement is mentioned here at the bottom displacement is 7087.3 tons that's the displacement mentioned so we get the displacement from here and then we go back and you can see that 7087.3 tons is the displacement in condition number three you have to load 518 tons as it's mentioned in the question when you load 518 tons the final displacement of the vessel will of course increase as you add weight to the vessel and you add 518 tons to the original displacement you get 7605.3 tons that's the final displacement after you have finished loading cargo all right now what you have to find out is basically where will you load this cargo so from the hydrostatic tables, we have to go back to the hydrostatic tables for MV Hinship. And for a displacement of 7605.3, which is the final displacement, the final displacement. Displacement is denoted by a triangle. So displacement of 7605.3, what will be the draft? So we go back into the hydrostatic tables and uh, you will find out... Uh, from here I think uh, so here so you have the hydrostatic particulars here so for 7605.3 you can see 7605 is here so 0.3 is insignificant so for that the draft will be 4 meters right so for that draft be 4 meters and for that 4 meters draft you should also note down what will be the MCTC the LCB the LCF so you can note down all these values as well because I'll be using these values in the question later on so against the displacement from the hydrostatic tables you first found out the hydrostatic draft 
and then for that hydrostatic draft or the displacement you found out the MCTC, LCB and LCF as well. Right, so LCB is of course longitudinal center of buoyancy, MCTC is moment to change stream by 1 cm and LCF is longitudinal center of flotation. So having taken these values, now you have found out all these values here and so have you found out the draft, this is the draft, the hydrostatic draft, right, and you have found out the values as well. Now the aft draft which is required is 4.5 meters but your current hydrostatic draft is 4 meters that means you need an after trim of 0 0.5 meters so your hydrostatic draft is 4 meters and your after trim is what you recover is 0.5 meters you need to add 0.5 meters to the hydrostatic draft to get the aft draft required so formulas that you will use is firstly total trim required trim required is equal to trim aft or change in trim aft multiplied by lbp which is the length between perpendicular divided by lcf that is longitudinal center of rotation so how do you find out the lbp or length between perpendicular you go back to the tables and here in the tables you can see in the first couple of pages only you have the length between perpendicular given to you here lbp length between perpendiculars given to you as 143.164 mv hinship so you get the value from here and you put it in the formula so total trim required equals change in trim aft multiplied by length between perpendicular divided by the length longitudinal center of flotation that's the formula for total trim required Alright, then it's just a matter of you putting in the values in the formula. When you put in the values in the formula and uh, use the calculator to do so, the answer you will get is 0.979 meters by stern. That is the total trim required by stern to create that aft trim. Alright, so this is the aft trim required. Total trim required 0.979 meters by trim. Now the total trim is also equal to the formula LCB minus LCG divided by MCTC into 100 multiplied by displacement. You have all the values except for LCG. So you know the total trim required is 0.979. You have found out the LCB value, the MCTC value and the displacement value before. The only thing you don't have is the LCG value. So what you will be doing is you will be putting the values in the formula and then making sure you isolate the unknown on one side and keeping your knowns to the other so simply i have put in the values in the formula here then i have taken this on the other side here the denominator right and lcb minus lcg then becomes equal to because then this will come here this will become the denominator so you can see how i've isolated the lcb minus lcg which is equal to 2.05 2.045 meters LCB you found out before from the hydrostatic tables from the tables you have found out as 73.010 so the resulting LCG would be 70.965 meters is the resulting LCG now why you need this is because you have to find out the position at which the cargo should be placed to create the required trimming moment all right so the original displacement as you found out from condition number 3 was 7087.3 the lcg for that was 67.679 meters all right so if you don't know where this i got this value from so you can see that if i go back to the tables for condition number 3 so you can see here the lcg is also given here so you can see here the LCG is given as 67.679 meters for condition number 3 that is the original displacement and the original LCG LCG is longitudinal center of gravity right so using these values that was the original condition so you will multiply this by this and you get the trimming moment all right 
and you have to load 518 tons as given in the question but you don't know what position you will be loading it in so we'll call this position x x is unknown so x multiplied by 518 is 518 x I'll just write it like this so that you guys don't get confused so the final displacement after loading the weight is 7605.3 and the final trimming moment will be 479662 plus 518x which is the required here. So to find the final LCG which is equal to 70.965 meters that we know after loading what we have is 70.965 meters that should be our final LCG we have our final trimming moment divided by the final displacement right so to get the required trim our lcg should have been 70.965 meters that that's what we deciphered earlier all right and also our lcg will be equal to final trimming moment divided by final displacement so then it's a matter of just finding out x so once you take this here this is the equation that it forms solve the equation all right keep matching with my values x what you get is 115 point sorry 115.923 meters and this x is from the after perpendicular so what happens is if this is the vessel x is or the longitudinal center of gravity is always measured from the aft perpendicular so this is aft and this is forward right so lcg or longitudinal center of gravity from the aft perpendicular as measured is 115.923 meters this is where you should be loading the cargo to get the required trim now this condition now the lbp or the length between perpendicular is 143.16 meters length between forward and aft perpendicular is 143.16 you have to load the cargo 115.923 meters this is the lcg not the lcg but the distance from where the cargo has to be loaded but that is been measured with respect to the lcg and that's why this is measured from the aft perpendicular but the question asks you that you have to find the distance from the forward perpendicular so to find the distance from the forward perpendicular that is this distance here you will subtract 143.16 minus 115.923 to get the distance from the forward perpendicular where you can load the cargo to achieve the required trim or required draft aft all right so because uh, we took the longitudinal center of gravity as a reference point here the distance we found out x was also from the reference to the aft perpendicular but that is not what the question has asked us the question has asked us that they want to find the distance from the forward perpendicular so once you find out the distance from the aft perpendicular where the cargo should be loaded subtract it from the length between perpendicular to find out this distance here from the forward perpendicular all right so once again if you have any doubts remember displacement in condition number three i found out from the tables then i added the cargo to be loaded found out the final displacement against the final displacement because that is going to be my final condition i found out my hydrostatic draft and for that hydrostatic draft i also found out the mctc the lcb and the lcf the aft draft as required by me in the question as given in the question is 4.5 meters but my hydrostatic draft is 4 meters so therefore i required an after trim of 0.5 meters for an after trim required of 0.5 meters which is trim aft the total trim required is measured by the formula aft trim required multiplied by lbp divided by lcf which gives me the total trim required 0.979 meters now this total trim required is also calculated by the formula lcb minus lcg divided by mctc multiplied by 100 into displacement now from here i got the lcg for the final condition the longitudinal center of gravity for the final condition All right so if that is the final condition i can use the trimming moments i can use the original displacement multiplied by the lcg and then cargo to be loaded multiplied by the 
distance at which it should be loaded and this will give me final trimming moment divided by the final displacement which will give me the equal to LCG as well and that will give me the distance at which the cargo has to be loaded from the aft perpendicular and because I have to find out the distance to be loaded from forward perpendicular I will simply subtract this distance from the length between perpendicular. So let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below I will be happy to answer them as soon as possible otherwise I will see you with more videos on ship stability especially from the MV Hinship and uh, we can understand how to solve these questions together.